Welcome, welcome, one and all. We are finally back with the second round of Fandom TV, and ooh, 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 tonight we have a good one. Tonight we have the number one seed, Arrowverse champion Zadius, playing against the general, grand admiral, Star Wars title man, Case, and here with me is, uh, I got a third third guy on the panel, Brooklyn, but the co-host for the evening is the one and only Caleb Coho. Coho, how are you doing this evening? Uh, I'm doing good. This is actually going to be probably one of the best fandom TV matches uh, in a while, because uh, uh, the last one that I, uh, that I uh, was in on video for did not go my way. Um, one point. I'll say that one point. Thank you, Doctor Who. But um, yeah, I love Phantom TV, and I'm very excited to see uh, what the Arrowverse champion and one of the top players, the number one ranked player in fandom right now, uh, do in the realm of fandom TV. So this will be interesting. Right, and you look very well propelled, paired with nice clean laundry brought to you by your mother. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get right into the promos. Boom. Well, I am back here in the ring for Fandom TV for a change. Uh, you've seen me a lot in Fandom movies, of course, uh, which I did pretty well at. But yeah, Fandom TV, I, for some reason, managed to win my first match, which uh, actually did surprise me, to be fair. Like, I know that I'm good at what I know, uh, and I'll never deny that, but there are a lot of TV shows in this realm of uh, in this league that I haven't seen. So that's why it kind of surprises me that I managed to even get the points record in this league. How did I do that? Anyway, I got lucky and that's something that I don't think I'll be today uh, or at least in the rest of the tournament. Now I might get lucky again and get something good in round two and actually get the uh, points for questions that I know, because there are a couple of things in this league that I know this is why I'm competing. Um, I know that Zadius is probably going to win. Um, he is a very respectable, uh, respectable, great competitor. He knows his stuff. He's a champion for a reason in the Arrowverse uh, part. Um, but I just like winning. I like competing. I know how to play the game, and I know a couple of things in this league. So I do think that I have a bit of a chance to continue, but we'll see how it goes. As you can tell, I'm a little less in character as I usually should be. Um, that's mostly because I don't have that much faith in myself with this uh, with this match. But let's just see how this pans out. What's going on, good people? It's the Z-Man Zayas Smith here, and I am finally glad to be back in Fandom TV fights. Uh, Actually, this is my first time technically in fandom TV fights after winning the Arrowverse Championship, but I'm just glad to be talking about fandom TV side, side of these sides of things because we know I'm not the best at that. And I I did win the Arrowverse Championship, and I'm looking forward to been looking to, forward to this match for a while. I hope I win. I have I, I have faith that I could win. I know it's all up to the will and all up to the question. So all I gotta do tonight is believe in the heart of the cards tonight. And just hope that things go my way. I know Case is a hell of a competitor. Hell, he he did just have a championship match for no reason. He's a hell of a competitor. Hopefully, I can just take him out tonight and then go uh, face my next opponent. Not looking past him, of course, but there'll be hope. Uh, bright. I just have hope for the future. Ho ho! They definitely very gentlemanly in uh, in their promos. You know, not a lot of heat, just a lot of respect, and that's my Christmas tree. What did you think of their uh, their promos there, Caleb? Um, there was a there's a lot more uh, light and fireworks coming from your tree from than from those promos, but um, it's uh, it was, <laughs> um, case uh, yeah he was he said it he made it to this round for a reason and uh, Zadis is the Arrowverse champion uh, and I think that means when we get to round two uh, that could be very deadly uh, for case in favor of Zadis if. He does get Arrowverse. I think this will be an interesting matchup, but I think we should just get right into it. Indeed. Why don't you take us into those introductions that everyone loves so much? All righty. Introducing first. Coming to the ring with a record of one win and zero defeats. He is the Grand Admiral, Case Cornelisa. 
and his opponent. Representing House Night Fury, he is the Arrowverse champion himself, making his technical fandom TV debut. He is Zadius the Z-Man Smith. Okay, and let's get right into those round one rules. Both competitors have their whiteboards or paper or whatever. We don't discriminate against white things being written on with certain utensils. We don't care. Uh, they'll get 10 questions from miscellaneous, randomly drawn fandom TV categories. They write their answer. They say their answer. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Either of you have any questions? No questions. Both are ready to go. Caleb Coho, why don't you give them their first question? Absolutely. All right. Your first question comes in the category of Star Wars Rebels. What unique ability do the Dark Side Inquisitors possess when they're using their rotating lightsabers? Did not like Rebels. Just kidding. Uh, this is the uh, the strength of the uh, one at Grey and Admirals, so you got to think he likes it. This being uh, one of the first yeah. matches of the new rules, uh, allowing them to pick specific uh, shows from the wider categories uh, as their strengths. Very true. I, uh, I really like the new rule, but then again, the only strength I have is not true. So, five, four, three, two. One, we will start with Case. I don't know what the hell kind of question this is. I said flying. I guess that's what they do. Flying is correct. Wow, and Zadius. I just put they can control it. They have a helicopter. It's not the best part of the show. <laughs> yep. I, I can <laughs> Neither is the time travel. As much. Right. And your next question. You haven't even category. seen the episode, I think. I have. Uh, your next question is in the category of animated heroes, and it is, who was the first person Peter asked to go to the dance with him in Spectacular Spider-Man? This is one of the more underrated forgotten Marvel shows. I like this one. Um, it's one of the different variations of uh, the Spider-Mans. That's very true. I think the best variation uh, is still the 90s Spider-Man. Of course it is. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. I'm very much looking forward to Into the Arrowverse. I cannot wait. Uh, into into the Spider-Verse, Jesus. It's the Spider-Verse. There's Jesus. no arrows. Jesus. Next okay. year's crossover into the Arrowverse is going to be four, three, two, one. Zaddy, we start with you this mm -hmm. time. With me? Well, there were two women I could think of. Gwen Stacy? That is incorrect. And Casey. Oh. I also guess Gwen Stacy. Ooh, the answer was... Kelko, why don't you tell him? The answer was one of his earlier love interests, Betty Brandt. Betty Brandt. Oh, classic mm. Betty. Classic oh, Betty. Oh, she's the... Right, okay. Your next question comes in the category of the Arrowverse. What is the drug that we see mentioned throughout Arrow that has seen Thea take it and is sold by the Count? Worked my way through that question. A lot of words. Indeed. Um, Elseworlds. Good or not good? Haven't seen it. Uh, oh. I have not seen an episode of any of the Arrowverse shows, so I couldn't tell you. That is disappointing. All right. I've seen about ten of the Flash, and that's it. I like the Flash. Five, four, three, two, one. Case, uh, what did you get? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> That absolutely nothing is incorrect and Zadius. Vertigo. It is Vertigo. That is correct. Vertigo I indeed. I couldn't hear him. We're all tied up at one apiece after three. <clears throat> and my question is next because I pay attention. And your question is in the Kane champion, uh, Dan Harmon. Dan Harmon. And it is, how many seasons did Community air? This is America. Indeed it is. I believe that he was on that show. Never seen True. Yeah, I like Donald Glover, though. 
Congratulations to him for getting a record of the year nomination. <coughs> Again. Right. Uh, sorry, I was uh, zoned out for a little bit. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, we start with um, with a case. Uh, I guess three. That is incorrect, Zaddies. Uh, one my sandwich. Four. Ooh, uh, you're both a little a little short. It was a uh, six. Six. Had a nice long run. <coughs> All right, your next question comes from the category of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. What is the full name, first and last, of Fitz and Simmons' grandson, who we meet in Season 5? I would not know anything about this because I jumped off after Season 1. Uh, I jumped off after Episode 1, but I have seen more episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. than uh, the air over. Uh I've seen more episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. than I care to admit, but I haven't seen it past, past season two. Yeah, they should have ended that one pretty quickly. It's not a good show. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Penn Stan will start with Z Man. It's deep, but I have no idea what the last name is. Mm, that is incorrect. We'll go to Case. I just said Phil. That is less correct than Zadius. Looking for Deke Shaw. Deke Shaw. And your next question is in the most beloved category, anime. In Zoid's new century, BitCloud piloted which Zoid? Good luck on that one. <laughs> what? Only <laughs> Zoid. Recognizes Freakazoid, man. I know the uh, the competitors are eagerly writing down their answers on this one. Oh, I absolutely got to know this one, right? Yeah. Five, <laughs> four, yep. I know. Three, two, one. Um, let's start with um with a Zadius to see what colorful answer you thought of. Hell no, no. no. <laughs> and uh, case. The seventh, I don't know. Uh, no, the answer was uh, Liger Zero, because exactly. that is apparently a thing. Right, yeah. All right, well, let's uh, let's take it somewhere a little bit more fun. Let's take it down to South Park for your next question. What is the name of Randy's weed farm that he moved his family to in season 22? I like South Park. South season Park is 22, good. 22, the one season I haven't seen yet, Jesus. Go go have myself a time. Whatever the fuck that was. It's the theme song. I it's gibberish. No, it's sure. not gibberish. It's actually, sing something. Five, four, three, two, one. Case, we're starting with you this time. I love this show, but I don't know because I haven't seen this shit in a season. And Zadius. Just because it's just because it's a play on words. Randy's March? Uh, no, the answer was Tegrity Farms. Jeez. Okay. Tegrity That's Farms. Okay. And your next question is in Game of Thrones, and it is thus. What is the name of the wildling who sacrifices his sons to the White Walkers? Personally, I uh, I wrote this question, uh, Coho. I, I I like to admit that because um, this is a great um, show. Yeah, um, I'm sure you would do very well with this question. I would have done absolutely fantastic with this question. I know everything about said throne of games. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Zadius, we start with you. Craster. Craster is correct. And case. Look, Craster. Craster, indeed. They both get it. And we're back with scoring points. Yeah. Your, your penultimate question comes to the category of DC non Arrowverse. Who played Green Arrow, aka Oliver Queen, in Smallville? 
Ooh. Smallville. Ooh. Somebody save me. Still, I, um... the, like the best entrance, the best I- intro of a of one of these shows. They're just that was just the best. I gave up on Smallville after the pilot. Well, that's the yeah. the mm. beginning is still amazing. You got like Tom Welling climbing up the we're side gonna, of the rocket. We're just gonna stand. We're gonna stand there and watch an asteroid fall on our faces. Five, four, three, two, one. Case. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not right. And Zadius. Justin Hartley. Justin Hartley is correct, and Zadius taking the lead. And your final question comes from infinite time and space itself, and it is Doctor Who. Doctor Who. What famous Who villain's home planet is Mondas? I love this question and this show. It's the only one I think I would have gotten right. I, outside of the first one. Sorry, I am texting in the middle of this. <laughs> well, it's fun to play off of this. By the way, my favorite show... Uh, is Doctor Who, and it is not coming back for a little bit, and that is because the writing has sucked this season. Indeed Chris it has. Not, Chris Chibnall should be fired. Anyway. Five, four, three, two, one, but he won't be because he is super woke. Uh, Case. No. No guess for Case and Zadius. Lord dot dot dot. Incorrect. The answer is you must be upgraded. The Cybermen. The, the Cybermen. The Mondasian Cybermen. Love them. Yes, the Mondasian Cybermen <laughs> being the original one. Now you're getting a new backstory in the rebooted series, but that wraps it up for round one, and it was a, a trudgingly exciting round one <laughs> as Zadius comes out of round one with that one point lead. And we will get right into round two, which is the wheel. We get to bring up that big and glorious wheel, which I'm bringing up right now. And the wheel categories. Ooh, pretty. It's winter colors. Are your categories are Star Wars Rebels, Game of Thrones, Arrowverse, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Anime, Animated Heroes, Dan Harmon, Doctor Who, and of course, Spinners and Opponents, Choice Opponents, I think is spelled wrong, maybe, I don't know, I'm a little bit Tim Smith. That's definitely spelled wrong. Uh, Nobody asked you, Case. Uh, So, Zadius, being you were in the lead after round one, would you like to spin or defer to the lovely Case? Make sure I'm pointing the right way. Defer. Deferring to Case. Case, your first spin is in. And it is Star Wars Rebels. (laughs) Uh, I have to think about that. The wheel smiles upon him again and giving you those questions. uh, I I think I'll take that. I forgot about that. Uh, Yeah, he's going to take it. Um, Giving you those questions will be Caleb Coho. All right. Case, your first question in Star Wars Rebels. In Rebels, which Jedi Master are the ghost crew tricked into attempting to rescue by the Grand Inquisitor? Luminara and Dooley. That is correct. That looks like it's words. right. Yeah, those are those words look correct. Who voices Zeb Aurelios? Steve Blum. That is correct for another two points. Ezra Bridger was born on what holiday? Uh, Empire Day. Two more points. Oh. Your penultimate question. What two colors are Sabine Wren's hair in season one of Rebels? Dark blue and orange. That is correct. That is correct. And your final question in round number two. How did Ezra's first lightsaber, the blue one, meet its end? Uh, it was uh, sliced in half by Darth Vader's lightsaber. That is correct for two more points and a clean sweep of Star Wars Rebels. Wow. Wow. Case Case just wants to go home and go to sleep, apparently. 
Yes, we I do. I'm home. Now, I'm just, we will I just now get to into two. That is a spin. Zaddy's is going to need Arrowverse here to try and reclaim that lead. He's down nine. Your spin is in Zaddy's, and it is Arrow. It is Arrow. <laughs> Arrow. <Sure. laughs> Would you like to keep the spin? That's uh, good. That's good. Zaddy's. That's good stuff, guys. I'll, I'll keep it. They want you to be the hardest question. <sighs> okay. Zadius, your first question in Arrowverse is what old friend of Ollie and Tommy owned and operated the nightclub Poison? Matt Spooler. That is correct for two points. Uh, your second question, who rebanded Starling City to Star City? Uh, Ray Palmer. Two more points for Zadius. Here we go. Which show kicked off the crossover event Invasion featuring the Dominators? Supergirl. Can you hear me? No. No, sorry. Oh, Supergirl. Supergirl. He says Supergirl, and he is correct yet again. Sorry about that, Zadius. Your <laughs> penultimate question. What is the name of Cat Grant's company that Kara works for in Supergirl? Catco. That Catco. is correct for two <laughs> more points. And your final question. What actor plays the character of Eppard Thwaitoni. Yep, reverse flash that we see crossing over a lot of shows in the Arrowverse. Multiple choice. Is it A, Tala Ash, B, Falk Henschel, C, Phil Morris, D, Casper Crump? D? What was D again? D is correct to tie it up going into round number three. And wow. Wow, Caleb, Coho. All tied one. up at 12. What a round. What a round. round indeed. All right. And going into round number three. Okay. Um, yeah, round number three is the betting round. Like the uh, like it, the parent fandom, uh, you get your questions. You get to bet between zero and two points. And uh, there's five questions. And we're going to go until someone reaches zero or someone is mathematically one or whatever. It's going to be intense either way. I'm just excited for this round three. And Caleb Coho, why don't you tell them their first category in which they can bet points on indeed your first category that you can bet points on gentlemen and round number three is star wars rebels how many points would you like to wager on star wars rebels and they both look good case how many points yeah two points what do you think and zadius this is zero what was that zero Zero. Okay. Okay. For stats purposes. <laughs> yep. Twenty one for stats purposes. <laughs> and your question is going to be given to you by Caleb Coho. <laughs> your question, Star Wars Rebels. In Ghosts of Geonosis, the Ark, besides information regarding Imperial weaponry, what object does the Geonosian survivor that saw Guerrero threatens to destroy during an interrogation? Okay, you cut out for a part of that question. Can you repeat that? I will, I will give you a free repeat. Yeah, free yeah, repeat on that one. In the Ghosts of Geonosis arc, besides information regarding Imperial weaponry, what object does the Geonosian survivor Click Clack possess that Saw Guerrero threatens to destroy during an interrogation? Okay, seeming to know this one. Wait, you said destroy object. Uh huh. Um, five, four. Repeat the question. Three. That will be Case's first repeat, and your repeat is thus: 
In the Ghosts of Geonosis arc, besides information regarding Imperial weaponry, what object does the Geonosian survivor Click Clack possess threatens to destroy during an interrogation? I will challenge this if it's wrong, but because I, <laughs> we'll see. Five, I'm ready for the challenge. Four, three, two, one. Zadius, did you did you even guess? I said kyber crystals. I'm not even sure that's a thing. No, that is a thing. I'm it is a thing, sure. but it's all yeah, right. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, you said something that Sagarera destroys, which is a droid activation device. But I assume that you have an egg written down, but Sagarera didn't destroy an egg in that episode. The Okay, we were looking for the a Genos queen egg. Uh, because the That's question, the thing. He, the he doesn't question. Are you going to that. challenge? Are the you question? going to this? Hold on, Jim. Yeah, I, I am going to challenge because okay. he. Question. Besides the, information just... regarding Imperial weaponry, what object does the Geonosian survivor Click Clack possess that Sagarera threatens to destroy during an oh. interrogation? Mm -hmm. I was Not confused destroyed. by it. Threatens to destroy. That's why I, yeah, you, you asked yeah. for the repeat, and I thought that's what uh, you were going to confirm. Yeah, but that's yes, be a loss was, the key word was yeah. threatens to destroy. Threatens yeah. to destroy. Your next category is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents yeah. of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> How many points will we be betting on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? You guys ready? Yeah, of course. Okay. Zadius, how many points? I said one. Just one. Just one. And case. Zero. Zero. Play along as you know. Um, but your question, Zadius, to extend your lead. How many monoliths are stored at the lighthouse that Noah shows the team in season five of Agents of Shield? Very intense showdown here. Five, four, three, two. Real quick. One. Oh, and he repeat. gets the repeat in. Repeat. repeat. I got the repeat, Zadius. How many monoliths are stored at the lighthouse that Noah shows the team in season five of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Five, four, three, two, one. We start with Case because no points are at stake with Case. Case, what? I guess four. Case? Four is not right. Zadius, did you write four two. down? No. Two. Two. Oh, He's in the call. God. The Brooklyn Veil curse strikes here in this match. The answer was three. White, gray, and black are their colors, Zadius. Wow, big loss of a point there for Zadius. And Brooklyn Vale is laughing behind his camera right now. And Caleb Coho, <laughs> give them their next question that they will inevitably bet zero on. All right, your third question, gentlemen. The score is 11 to 10. Is anime. How many points would you like to wager on anime? <sighs> This is the fandom TV equivalent of Kaiju. I believe so. The issue with it is that it's too broad. There are a couple of like shows within this realm that I know, but... I think that's the same broad. issue most people had with Kaiju. And this Indeed. is the reason why it's gone. Uh, we will start with Case. How many points are you betting, sir? You, Zach. And uh, Zadius, how many points are you going to bet? Same thing, zero. Zero. Oh, nothing. Okay, well, we, will give you the question. we will give you the question anyway for stats, and you both might be a little upset that you bet nothing because your question's from Pokemon. 
And Caleb, question. go ahead and give it to him. Your question in anime. Your question in anime. Evolve into what Pokemon? Yeah, Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu can evolve into what Pokemon? Oh, oh <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. Did he not cut out for you? Yeah, he cut yeah, out. He, he, he cut, cut out. But Pikachu evolves into what Pokemon? Damn it. Come on. <laughs> This, this is just me. Like you, you give us anime, then you know we're not gonna bet anything because the category is too broad. But then you give us a Pokemon question. If if either one of you would have been, but would have been ballsy enough to bet on it, you would have reaped the benefits. Yeah. Or if you would have been desperate enough to bet on it. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Eh? Yes. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Case, what did you get? It's Raichu. It is Raichu. Mm-hmm. Zadius, did you get Raichu? I am. Right you cut out a little bit there, Zadius. Oh, um, I ain't right there, but it's right you. Yeah. Okay. Your next category is Marvel that is on Netflix for now, I suppose, because everything's getting canceled. Netflix Marvel is the category. Nothing is safe on Netflix with Marvel. Five, four, fifty-one. They both look good. Case, you're behind still. So, what is your bet? I'm still playing along for stats purposes. Zero. Oof. And Sadius. If I don't get a right to like question, I'm gonna be pissed. I go, I go <laughs> with one. Okay. Sadius, your question that is not for stats purposes. In season three of Daredevil. What is the name of the nun that helped Matt get back on his feet to fight the evil of Hell's Kitchen and Kingpin? This is a big question. If Zaddy's misses, and we will be tied going into the final question. If Zaddy's hits it, he has a two-point advantage going into the final question. Indeed. Either way, we're question. going to the final question. We're going to the final question. Yeah. There is no sleeping here. No 10 counts. This is going all the way to the decision. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Case, did you write anything? Electra? I don't know. That is incorrect. And Zadius for the lead of two points. Show, show I can't uh, say it. Sister Maggie. Maggie, that is correct for the two point lead. Oh my, oh my. Two points going into the final category. Okay. And you, Coho, tell them what that category is. Your final question comes in the category of Fox Animated. Which. How and many Case points I know does Fox not Animated? live in America, so just to clarify on Fox Animated, that can be anything from one of Seth MacFarlane's shows of like American Dad, Cleveland Show, right. Family Guy, or The Simpsons, or Bob's Burgers, or any other little ones we're forgetting, but those are the main right. ones. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one and as Brooklyn adds in King of the Hill and Futurama, okay. Um, case, oh no, 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 uh, no, case, you're behind, so let's get how many points you're betting. I have to bet two, <laughs> he has to bet two, and Zadius zero. Zero. Means, oh, that means if case hits this, if case hits this, we're going to sudden death. If he misses, Zadius wins the game. Your question in Fox Animated. Name all three friends and neighbors of Peter's in Family Guy. Zadius holding his head. Wait. Uh, and five. Repeat the question. Oh. That is Case's second repeat in your question. Name all three friends and neighbors of Peter's in Family Guy. Love the show. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Case, what do you have? Sudden death it is because it's Glenn Quackmire, Joe Swanson, and Cleveland. And we didn't that. need the last name, but to sudden death, we will be going. Zadius, did you know those? I knew them, but. Oh. To sudden death. Sudden death. And sudden death. You can't. Okay. Well, sudden death. Uh, I, I've never been to sudden death before, Coho. So we'll see how this goes. Um, the same betting rules will apply, but the category is well, the category will be mixed bag, and we do have the one we have the one sudden death question written. And if you do not, if neither of you um, wins after this first sudden death question. Then we will start to just take questions from um, from the question bank that we have available, uh, and we will go until there is a winner. And after so many questions, you will not be allowed to bet zero anymore. So we will see how it goes. It will remain mixed bag though. So there's no. So, so we'll we just can go. bet either one or two. Yeah. So b at first, we'll say the first five questions you can bet. You can bet uh, zero if you would like, oh, okay. uh, but uh, until after that five question threshold, you it will go to you having to put up some sort of points. Uh, but just keep in mind, it will always be mixed bag. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so the first question. Uh, let's get those bets in. Case, what is your first bet? One point. And Zaddy's, what is your first bet? Well, it's going to come down to this, but nothing. Oh, <laughs> Zaddy's does not, will not allow it to go to those five points, those five questions. Case, your one question to win it all in mixed bag. Okay, Case, your one question to win it all. Encounter at Farpoint marked the first appearance of what alien that would test Picard about the human race. Yes! Ah, Star like, Trek question. That's, a, that's amazing. This is, I've only seen season one of The Next Generation, but it's a recurring character, and it's amazing. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Zadius, did you know it? I would have had no idea anyway, so... Case. It's Q. And your winner. Moving on to the semifinal of the Fandom TV Tournament. The Grand Admiral Case Cornelese. Wow, what a finish. What a finish. Caleb Coho. How wow what Caleb, what are you what are you thinking right now? This was a close one, uh, back and forth. Both had really strong round twos. It just came down to that round three in the betting round on the points. Uh, and it, it, sudden death. Uh, nothing. No one has anything to hang their heads about. Zaddy's played great. Um, and uh, Case played a good game. And, yeah, that's all there was to it. Indeed. And let's not even mince words here. Let's just get straight into these post-match interviews, starting with Case. Case. First reactions, how are you feeling, sir? I uh, honestly thought that I lost the game the moment that I missed that Rebels question uh, in round three. I thought that was just it. Like, the, uh, losing those two points, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recover from that. Uh, then I was a little bit lucky on the last uh, question of round three, uh, which helped me get into sudden death. And uh, I want to thank... Uh, Whoever plays Q in uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, he's a recurring character. He's a pretty good character, actually, um, for giving me the win. Uh, we, we saw how Zadius destroyed Arrowverse um, after I destroyed in Star Wars because of course, or Rebels, uh, which is, of course, my strength. Uh, and that was, yeah, that, that's just how it should be. Like, both of us getting our strengths, doing well, and being so close up until the end. Uh, that's amazing. I, uh, I am very much looking forward to my next opponent, uh, whoever that might be, uh, because it either might be uh, 
the guy who I uh, have started to review Resistance with, or it might be uh, Brooklyn. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Indeed, indeed. Um, I think you've about covered everything there. Do you have any last words, Case? Uh, congratulations to Zadius for playing a hell of a game. I thought he would win it. I really did. Um, yeah, I was a little lucky. <laughs> Humble, humble indeed. Uh, let's jump over to Zadius. Zadius, how are you feeling? Yo, uh, I knew it was going to come down to sudden death, especially after that right you question. I felt like the tides were just turning, like turning against me. But uh, listen, it was a good match. Round two was great for both of us. Um, damn it, uh, wish I would have remembered um, Air Bar's name. Yes. Uh, do I wish I would bet points on right you? Yes. <laughs> but huh. but uh, uh, I have no, like, absolutely zero regrets. The last time a Fox T question, yeah, but Terra Nova, by the way, just put there now, but uh, listen, um, I know that, you know, because all congrats to this, uh, uh, good, good job and perfect place. The uh, Star Trek question number one, you're on my shit list, <laughs> right? Right, uh, well, Zadius, um, we don't know how it's gonna go after the tournament, but we do hope to see you back in here at some further date, future date. Um, will you, will you be back for us, Zadius? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, this is fun, just. Again, just comes to uh, really do questions around one, round two, or maybe round three, just the round that can get you. Right. And now let's jump back over to the co-host, co-ho. Caleb, what are your uh, what are your last few thoughts about this here match? Uh, both guys came in. They played great. Uh, it just it came down to round three and how many points were bet and both of them zaddy's kicking himself over raichu um but man and, and family guy at the end there. and family guy but sudden death it all came down to that sudden death question and it 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 was a good match it was a great match indeed indeed and now let's just jump right into everybody's favorite thing that they always love to do plugs start with the winner case plug away I'm just going to keep it short, unlike other people on this uh, call right here. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on uh, on our YouTube channel dedicated to art. Uh, we also have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you can follow us at D2A channel. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Dutch Movie Guy. And on Facebook, I'm just Case Cornelius. And Zaddy's. That is... You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Zadius Smith, that's Z, two Ds, U.S. Smith. Uh, also on Twitter, uh, uh, at underscore. Uh, watch tomorrow because it's very good. Oh, there is week on. Christ is on Earth Plex. Uh, and also find me on the Stardust app at Retribution Z. And Brooklyn, you're going to play in a match soon anyway, so who cares about your plugs? You weren't even here. Um, Coho, why don't you list off your super huge list of stuff so we can all go home? Uh, check out Fandom Fight on Friday. I host that. Uh, Cody and Brooklyn, they started up Nerdgaz and they brought that back. They'll be back next season. Check that out and check us out at the last stand. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Just go to the Multiplex Entertainment Facebook group. You'll see everything. Perfect, perfect. And as always, I still hate plugs, but I plug in that Christmas tree and you can see the plug. Look right there. That's where it's plugged up. Focus. There it is. There's the plug for the Christmas tree right there and that lamp right there. Right there. As always, though, this is I'm Jim. That's Coho. That's Case. That's Zadius. And uh, that Mario thingy is uh, Brooklyn. And he was quiet this whole time, but it doesn't matter. So we will see you next time. See ya. Blah.